So how long after a foreclosure can you get a mortgage? So the unthinkable has happened. Uh, foreclosure happened, or maybe you're going into the foreclosure process and you're trying to figure out what that looks like for yourself. When can you get back into another home? We'll learn all that in this video and more. In this episode, we'll discuss circumstances that mortgage lenders agree are justifiable as pertains to a foreclosure. Then we'll discuss waiting times for different loan programs and loan types that are available. Okay, so you've either lost your home in the foreclosure process or you're watching this video because you're trying to figure out what that looks like for you. Perhaps uh, situations have happened in your life there's been things that have happened that have caused you to not be able to make your home payment and you're considering what it is that you should do next. Many things can happen, believe it or not, that are very justifiable in terms of the way that lenders will look at you in the future. If you lost your home because of a massive medical issue that was beyond your control, that is considered a justifiable situation. Now, it's terribly horrible to have to lose your home, where your kids grew up, a place that you get your warm and fuzzies from. But just know that there are certain situations that, that lenders agree that it happens and life happens. One of them is gonna be medical issues. Others are gonna be other emergencies that are beyond your control. Um, one of those might be the death of a breadwinner in your family. Um, that's another situation that is absolutely beyond your control. Just know that whether you're in the process of losing your home or you've already lost your home, that there's definitely still hope. Okay, now the things that we just talked about are gonna be your justifiable circumstances and there's, there's other situations that are considered not justifiable. A situation that's not considered justifiable is if, you, if the borrower has a history of subprime credit, meaning they have a history of having credit issues, uh, then there's a foreclosure that happens on their property. And then after the foreclosure, they continue to have credit issues. So a scenario like I just explained, that's not, that's not considered justifiable. Um, it, it's more of a pattern of behavior. Another justifiable situation may be that you went and you gambled all your money away and you lost your home. That's also unjustifiable. There's some things that seem like they should be justifiable, but from a lender's eyes, they're really not. And one of those is gonna be divorce. Believe it or not, if you get a divorce and there was a breadwinner in that situation and they went in their separate ways and you were left the house and you can't pay for the house, that's not considered justifiable. Now, if you've already had a foreclosure or if you're going into the foreclosure process, there's a real good possibility that the rest of your credit has suffered as well. And the main reason is, is because people are gonna pay their mortgage usually no matter what. If somebody's not paying their mortgage, it's because the, the, the sky is seriously following down. So more than likely, if you're in the foreclosure process, you've probably got late pays, you've probably got charge-offs, you've probably got things that have went to collections. So more than likely, you've got a lot of things going on all at one time that put you in a situation to where you're no longer making payments on your home. Now, before we get into the different types of loan programs and the different waiting periods applicable for each one of those loan periods, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be working hard to bring you a video each day during the week covering different personal finance topics, including lending and credit. There's four different types of loans that are traditionally uh, available for borrowers. You've got your conventional, your VA, your USDAA, and then you've got your FHA loans. Within each one of these loan programs, they have their own foreclosure waiting period and exceptions for extenuating circumstances. In fact, all these different loans have an extenuating circumstance clause. And what that means is that the reason for the foreclosure was beyond your control. Like I talked about before, possibly the death of a breadwinner in your marriage that caused you not to be able to pay your bills. That is a extenuating circumstance that is absolutely justifiable. Okay, now a situation that's not considered an extenuating circumstance is if you were trying to sell your home but the market was such that you weren't able to sell your home or that there was a drop in equity in your home or as I mentioned previously, uh, you went through a divorce. All of those are not considered extenuating circumstances. Okay, so let's talk about the first loan program that's actually the hardest to get in general anyways and that's gonna be your conventional loan program. The waiting period after a foreclosure is gonna be 
seven years. That's a very long time to wait after a foreclosure for the conventional loan program. Now, conventional loan programs do take into account the extenuating circumstances situation. As long as it is well-documented, it's beyond your control, then you only have to wait three years after the foreclosure to reapply for a conventional loan. Now we're gonna clump the, th the last three loan programs all up into kind of the same area. FHA, VA, and USDAA. Each one of these loan programs all have a three year waiting period after the foreclosure. So remember with conventional, it's seven years. And with the last three loan programs I just mentioned, it's three years. For these three loan programs, they do have an extenuating circumstances clause as long as it's well documented and it's justifiable. And it's a 12 month waiting period. So what that means is, is that you can go from foreclosure and 12 months later, if you have that extenuating circumstance that's well documented and is justifiable and you've reestablished credit, you can make another purchase 12 months later. I bet you didn't know that. A lot of people think that the foreclosure is the end of the line for them and it can feel that way. It can certainly feel like my world is caving in and I've lost everything. Uh, but the reality is, is that with a little bit of diligence and a little bit of focus, as quickly as 12 months later, you can actually make another purchase. Now, if you've had a foreclosure or you have other credit challenges, please click on the link in the description. We offer a complimentary credit analysis. The only caveat is that you have to buy a tri-merge credit report and we use a service called Smart Credit.